Alright, here we are. Canadian junkyard. Okay, pro tip here. Welcome everybody to your favorite YouTube show, Fixing Random Crap with Craig. Today we are dealing with this uh, Kenmore Heavy Duty Electronic Fabric Master Dryer. And uh, this is a great dryer. We just moved into this house. Works pretty well. Dries clothes very nicely, I have to say. Um, but there are about, uh, oops, I just turned the light off. There are a bunch of different uh, stages. And every time it gets to a new stage, or, you know, potentially just for any reason at all, uh, it emits a ridiculously loud buzzing sound that would wake the dead. And uh, there's somewhere around like six buzzers that will go off before this thing will finally stop. And uh, that's really tough for drying clothes at night, that's for sure, and trying to keep kids asleep in the house. So um, we're going to attempt to uh, remove this buzzer. I have done a little bit of research uh, online, and it appears that uh, these are all a little bit different. But uh, we're going to turn off the power first. We're going to unplug her right there. Going to give that a little unplug and uh, see if we can get access to said buzzer and remove it. And then uh, it is Christmas here in the Great White North, and all I wanted for Christmas was to take that buzzer and take a sledgehammer to it on the driveway. So that's uh, what we're going to do if we can get the buzzer out. So, here we go. Okay, we've pulled the dryer out from the wall. You will notice that we have unplugged it. For safety, of course. Um, she's some dusty back here. I'm gonna clean that up after. But uh, we're gonna take off these eight, no, sorry, these six screws. And uh, they are a um, quarter inch is what seems to fit there. We're going to pop those off and we'll let you know. Okay, so we have the back panel off and we have the uh, timer mechanism over here. And you see it's pretty dusty, so I'm going to get the vacuum and tidy this up. But uh, one of these three boxes over here, <clears throat> I believe, are our culprit. I'm pretty sure it's that one from having looked at a few uh, other videos. But I will uh, get a little closer and we'll try and see if we can get some tips that would tell us which one is which. All right, clean it up. We'll be right back. Okay, so we've cleaned things up here nicely. Got all the dust out. It's much nicer on the floor, too. Um, anyway, so now it's about figuring out which one of these is our guy. And, um, again, I watched a couple of other videos and, and sim and, on, on different dryers, but all the buzzers seem to look like this. I suspect there's only so many of these buzzers because all these Kenmores are made the same as a whole bunch of other makes. It always had a mounting screw in the uh, in the other videos that I've seen, and usually has these two like two connectors coming onto it. Um, so I'm fairly confident that this is the buzzer. Another uh, reason why I think it's the buzzer is that you'll notice there's three things here. When we go around to the front, there are two knobs. And these two knobs line up almost perfectly with these two uh, things that I don't think are the buzzer. So this is just kind of hanging on by that bolt, by that uh, by that screw there, which uh, might be bigger than a quarter inch, we'll see. So um, basically I'm going to disconnect this and uh, pull it off, and I'll make sure the dryer still works without it, and then I'll destroy it with a sledgehammer. Because uh, if it doesn't work without it, then maybe it has to be here for some reason. I don't know. I don't want to ruin the whole dryer because of this thing. Although, if I'm going to be stuck with a dryer that makes this noise, I'm probably going to get a new dryer. Because it is atrocious. Okay, so here we go. Turns out it is a quarter inch, uh, quarter inch bolt there as well. So that comes out pretty easy. And I'm just going to trace these wires and see where they're Okay, so this is our buzzer. We uh, undid the screw, and then you'll see that it's, the hole is just, it just hangs on there kind of by this little tab, and then by the screw. So this is definitely the buzzer. And uh, there were two cables. One of them, I suspect, is the power to it, probably the red, the red one that's there. And then this one is, 
I'm suspecting the signal to tell it whether to buzz or not. And then we we'll probably find that there's a the brown one over here. Oh, it's a little bit different color of brown. No, I think it's this guy. Um, that looks like the same color wire. It's probably the one that was telling it to buzz. And then the red was the power. Like I say, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some electrical tape on that uh, on that one right there so that it doesn't hit up against anything and cause any problems. This one's already yeah, well insulated. I'll probably put a little bit of tape around there as well. And we're going to close this thing back up and uh, see if it buzzes anymore. And if it doesn't, this thing's going to meet uh, a horrible death. Okay, well, you know how we do just another quick note is that uh, there's a part number on here, 694419. Looked it up, and uh, indeed it is a uh, Whirlpool Kenmore electric buzzer dryer. And uh, it's like you can buy one for, uh, you know, six bucks Canadian. Um, I'll give you this one for free, but it's probably going to be in pieces here in a few minutes, so you might want to buy that one if you would like to have a buzzer. Okay, so everything has been replaced in the back. Our back panel has uh, been reinstalled. We are plugged in. And uh, we do have some clothes in here. So we're going to uh, see if it turns on. It's promising. No explosions. Um, we're going to see if this doesn't buzz. Hopefully it gets through the cycle and does not buzz. Reminder that uh, I'm not a professional and uh, you know, do all 80s. Any of the tips that you find in fixing random cra crap with Craig are done on your own uh, on your own decisions. But uh, this this may this may solve this problem hopefully. And uh, if you see a clip after this of me destroying that buzzer, then you'll know that uh, we were successful. Couldn't find the sledgehammer, so this is what we had to do. <laughs> yeah, it's me.